what I eat in a day at home. For context, my dad is a chef and will just be following along my meals, I guess, and what my dad whips up before I come home. It's 9.15 right now, so we're gonna start our day off with like a yummy green juice that we're making at home. Good morning, daddies. These are technically like our leftover vegetables because my parents use carrots for soup, celery. What do you use celery for? I use some celery for the lobster broth, but... Cucumber for salads, lemon we always have, ginger we always have, and apples we always have because they don't go bad. Did you know that there's two kinds of ginger? No, I didn't There's see. the small kind and there's the big kind. Oh. This is much better. We can mix it so it doesn't just taste like one fruit or one vegetable in a layer. Woo! Unity boosting. What, ginger? That ginger socked me in the face. Yeah, finish it then. I'm gonna ask another glass. Woo! It's a bit of flavor. It's great. It's good. It's not very gingery. What is this? OMG. Broth. This looks insane. This black cod. How did you make that? I steamed it in the pan. Mm. And then this is the, the skin side. I'm salivating. So for lunch, we are having lobster broth that my dad made from scratch with, what did you say? Leftover shells. Leftover lobster heads from Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, in our Thanksgiving vlog. So you made broth and then you froze it. And so now we're having it for lunch because Lucas is back. In our household, before every meal, we always have to take pictures of it and look back mm -hmm. on all of our memories. You already know the camera eats first. It's best to take pictures with iPhone cases that are just so durable. So even when I might accidentally drop it into my food, I just know that this is super protected. It's military grade and also can survive drop tests of up to 11.5 feet. How tall are you again? Six feet. So this can survive two of you. Lucas is 6'3", so how tall is this? Uh, this is approximately 10 feet. Are you scared? <laughs> You're not gonna balance. Three, two, one. <laughs> how That's is it? Crazy. No, it's good. Drop <laughs> test approved. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was really scary. But these are so protected because there's this raised camera lens protector. So even when you drop it, you know that this won't crack and neither will the front. I picked this bow case and I also picked this toile fabric. Toile. T-O-I-L-E. It's like this French fabric wow. basically. I picked these two because I feel like they match my outfits really well. And this is also made from 65% recycled materials. So they are making active sustainable efforts. I think I'm gonna upgrade <laughs> to my new one soon. Look. Which is the 15 Six. Pro, and this is basically, do you know what this is? It's an octopus. Basically the suction cup, which is perfect for making content. So, and they have so many more designs that you can look at online. You guys can go to casetofi.com slash Isabel Sung, I-S-A-B-E-L-L-E-S-U-N-G, and get your new cases today. Now it's time for us to eat lunch. Lobster bisque with black cod in a chai butter sauce, right? It's actually really simple. Actually, really simple, Dad says. Actually, it's really easy.
you're making carbonara. I stir my pork belly with salt, sugar, chili flakes, and black pepper. I like it. it smells delicious. These are tartine bread. Bread crumbs. And now I'm just separating egg whites for, for that. Saving the egg shells for the planter bed. And the egg yolk, I'm gonna mix with pasta water and parmigiano for the <laughs> caponara. Toast it in and pour half of it out. Save this for the salad ladon or lentil soup. Oh, that's for a salad? Yeah, I can toast that later again. Can I try one? And a little sherry vinegar at the end. Yeah, of course. And then uh, all the rigatoni I have in the house. Mm. I'm gonna cook this up. I'm gonna add this pasta water. Make a sauce with Parmesan cheese. I'm starting to speak Italian already. <laughs> You're like Bella Hadid. <laughs> this one is the best and this collection was to die for, no? I work out, finish my shower, and then I smell bacon once I step out. It's really hard to stay fit in this household. <laughs> so now I'm having carbonara as a yeah. snack. Now, this is gonna get the final toss. I like my carbonara with a little bit of raw garlic. Oh, me too. So I, I, oh, I just and I love the, it with the blade. A little liquid. Stop that from cooking. Toss down water, black pepper. I add this to, to what they call the temper the egg. So as the egg cook or heat up, you see it become a thicker. You see that? And then the pasta is cooking now, and you have this creamy sauce, you see? From the egg. You should go get your second try here. Nice and mellow. I need to try yeah, another. You can try it with the lardone, yeah. I prefer spaghetti over rigatoni. I'm making myself a mini plate. So I'm gonna add some toppings on it. A little bit of cheese. I love cheese. And then we're gonna add an egg yolk per my request. Maybe a little more. <laughs> And voila, carbonara snack. It looks like a sunny side egg, but way better. Taste test, even though I've tasted it plenty of times. Let's crack the egg together. <gasps> Yummy. I love yolky, creamy pasta. Mmm, so good. Late night snack by dad. What are you making, Dad? Per request, I'm making carpaccio from uh, this aged ribeye. How do you age ribeye? Just put it on the like dry paper towel, put it in a ventilated uh, refrigerator space, and let it air. What does it do when it's aged? Concentrate its flavor. Brilliant, huh? Delicious. So this is the Italian butter beans, okay? Just chives too if you want. Ah, into the beans. These onions, into the beans. Olive oil. Mm -hmm. A touch of red wine vinegar. So we season it. Salt. We don't need, we probably don't need. Now the cheese. This is very important, huh? Reggiano Parmigiano. Nice and salty. See, I put a bit of olive oil there, but now, now it feels like it's all kind of gone. It's all like soaked so in thin. there. Don't put the caper juice, huh? Just, just the capers. Just very few. Some, a lot of people put too much. It's overpowering. All this beef carpaccio. Is for me. <laughs> really, oh. I'm almost done with this plate. So good. It's okay. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. So we, from that piece of steak, we do a lot of different preparations. Mm. Sear, we can raw, we can raw Japanese style, which she also loves. Mm. Drag your beef to the olive oil. There's on, on vinegar on the bottom. So good, man. Jeez. <laughs> I have someone drooling behind me too. <laughs>